Welcome to this short video lesson on customer download files. If you're selling a digital item, the chances are that as soon as possible, after payment, you will want to provide immediate download access to your customer so that the product can be used. In some circumstances, you may wish to have the downloadable file issued from your own server, but for most sellers, it makes sense to upload it to Plymouth's robust servers and then rely on Plymouth to host the file and to provide the bandwidth necessary to ensure a smooth download operation. This video shows how straightforward the process is to upload the relevant file to the Plymouth platform. If you ever need to revise the file, you can upload a new one, keeping the same name to overwrite the old file or selecting a new name if necessary. Your file can comprise a single file up to 500 megabytes in size. Please make sure there are no spaces in the file name. If you want to provide a collection of files including the main program, demos and licenses and so on, just zip the collection and you'll be able to upload it to Plymouth. Please make sure that the file is virus and malware free and does not breach our prohibitions list. Failure to comply with such requirements will usually lead to an account being suspended. Download files are usually added at the end of the contract setup process, although you can actually do this at any time. To start, let's go to the relevant contract. We need to scroll down the page to the customer file upload link at the very bottom. We'll just click on the link. This will open the dialog for selecting the customer download file. The file can be selected from your PC or if preferred from the web or you may choose an existing file that you have already uploaded to the system. Uploading from your PC will usually be relevant the first time you add a file to the Plymouth system. Uploading from the web is recommended for particularly large files. Selecting an existing file you have uploaded obviously makes sense when the required file is already on the Plymouth server and means that once loaded, a file can be linked up with all relevant contracts. In this example, we will upload a file from our own computer using the browse and upload controls. The time it takes to upload your file depends on the size. Let's upload now. After pressing upload, the file is added to Plymouth and you will be shown a confirmation that the file was successfully uploaded. If your file is larger than the 500 megabyte limit, just contact our vendor support team for assistance. In order to assist you, the system conveniently sets up a CD on demand offer that will give you the option of offering your customers the opportunity to receive the item on a backup CD for a small fee which includes a $2 payment to you. Just use the link to cancel or amend this item. The process is covered in a separate tutorial. Okay, we now have the file set up on the Plymouth servers. The final step in the process is to communicate the URL to your customers so that they can download the file from Plymouth. This is done using the order email settings. Just go to the top of the page and click order email. The action takes place in the email body area. In this instance, we'll leave the format as plain text. Just add an appropriate sentence. And now click on the product download URL tag and it inserts it into the email. Press submit to save your work. The download file and email communication are now ready for use. In order to reduce piracy, your customers will normally be given 48 hours or 4 download attempts to access the download. If you need to adjust these limits, you can manually reactivate the download using the order information page or apply to vendor support to change the limits. That's all for this tutorial and you can review the screenshots below. Thank you.